my channel so i have another ankara inspired tutorial for you guys i've been receiving threats everywhere instagram snapchat here on youtube facebook you guys wanted me to do one of these so bad and the reason why i took a break from them in the first place was because the last one didn't do so well and i was like okay you guys probably don't want to see ankara inspired tutorials anymore maybe it's too much color maybe it's just too much work but then you guys have been requesting like crazy and another thing was that i didn't have like a lot of ankara fabrics like myself you guys know that i would normally steal my mom's scarves to film these tutorials and the one that i used in my last ankara inspired tutorial i literally had to leave the house to go buy a fabric for that tutorial and then when it didn't do so well i was like so this is the look that i created and the inspiration was this scarf if you're not familiar with my ankara inspired series it's basically um a series of tutorials that i have where i let the ankara fabrics that i have on my head i let them inspire the entire look we have a lot of ankara here in nigeria we wear them all the time and i love the way that the colors always look like they are clashing sometimes but then they are not everything goes well together and i always just want to see what i can come up with based on a fabric so that's what i do with these tutorials so if you want to see how i got this look please keep watching and i'll see you guys in my next video i'm going to start out by priming and to do this i'm using max extend eye base this is going to prevent my eyeshadow from creasing the first color that i'm going to use is this green from my morphe 35c palette and it's going to serve as a transition color for me i'm applying it with max 224 blending brush i'm going in with this camo green and i'm working it into that area still just to add some depth and i'm doing this with my mac 217 brush to give my lid color something to stick to just to give it a very good base i'm using nars radiant creamy concealer in caramel i'm working this onto my lid area i'm not being very precise because this is not a cut crease this is a small synthetic brush by juvia's place and the first blue that i am going to use is one from the morphe 35c palette still and this is is not the same shade as the blue on the fabric so i'm going to be using magnolia makeup's fleur de fab a very dark um, royal blue pigment this is my mac 239 eyeshadow brush by the way and then once i am done applying this i'm going to go in with this white and i'm applying this on my brow bone area with a sephora precision eyeshadow brush on my tear duct area i'm applying max chrome yellow okay and this brush is the sigma e30 i believe and to just separate my lashes a little bit i'm using clinique's high length mascara I'm lining my waterline with Max Fluid Line Pencil in Black Brilliance and the lashes that I'm using for this look is my Nail Cosmetics and the style is in Omoge. I'm popping this on and I'm doing the usual popping it on, applying a little bit of mascara and then pressing it down just to make sure that it looks nice. And then to prime my face, I am using Ila Masca's um, Matte Veil, my Holy Grail. And for my foundation for this look, I am using Max Studio Finish Concealer studio fix fluid not studio finish i always mess up the name of this foundation in nw45 and to highlight i'm going to be using a mixture of nars Rudan creamy concealer in amand and caramel i applied a little bit of caramel first and then i'm going over it with amand but amand mainly on my chin cupid's bow and forehead i didn't apply any caramel in that area so once i'm done applying it with the applicator i'm going to apply my contour next and this is black opal stick foundation in carob I'm applying it on my temples and then underneath my cheekbones. I'm blending everything out now and I'm using my beauty blender for this, a damp beauty blender. Quickly setting my immediate under eye area to avoid creasing. And I use my Benai banana powder for that and then I'm blending out the rest of my face now. So once I'm done blending, once I've done blending, not blending, blending, I am going to dust off the excess powder and also set the rest of the highlighter parts of my face. Okay, after doing that, I'm going to set my contour as well. I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Powder in Cinnamon for this. So for the head wrap, what I've done is that I've folded a square piece of Ankara fabric that I have into a triangle, bent my head like forward and then I put it over my head and then I crisscrossed it in front. It's really super easy. So I'm tying it right now. After tying it back, I'm just going to fold everything in and adjust it to make sure that nothing is sticking out. And that's really it. This is not hard at all. So I'm going to set my face now. I'm using my Black Up 2 Way Cake in TW11. This brush is Max 138 Face Brush. Just pressing the powder in to set the entire face. And once I'm done doing that, I'm going in with NARS Blush in Taj Mahal. Oh my goodness, guys, this blush is so gorgeous, like so gorgeous. It's giving me a nice flush of color on my cheeks. 
and this is my real techniques blush brush by the way i'm going to go on ahead now and smudge makeup geeks mv on my lower lash line it's a very dark green eyeshadow and then applying a little bit of mascara this is max studio sculpt mascara this is just to separate my lashes a little bit and for my highlight for this look i am using my one of my faves max gold deposit applied it on my cheekbones and then on my cupid's bow and then on my brow bone area as well moving on to the lips now i started out by lining with nyx lip pencil in deep red this is just to define my lips i'm going to draw this you know on the borders of my lips and then fill my lips in a little bit but then after that i am going to be using one of my favorite lip colors in this world and it is ColourPop Sleepy Sticks in Bichette. I've used it severally here, so you guys know by now that I love this. So after applying this, I want my lips super, super glossy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going over it with ABH Lip Gloss in Socialite. And I kind of felt afterwards that this was a little bit too bright. So I've gone back in with Bichette. And this is just to make the color look right, look like the red on the fabric. And that's it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next one.